Hey everybody, welcome to the premiere oh. of The Bachelorette. A recap. Oh, everybody <laughs> remembers Deanna. Yeah, apparently she wasn't good enough for Brad Womack, the twin. That's right, but now she's going to play the game from the other side. She is back in the mansion. And although some of the faces may have changed, the, the hassles, hassles are, are just, just the same. same. <laughs> <laughs> Strangers with candy. Yeah. So anyway... Um, Jenny, who was also on the Brad Womack disappointing season. Yeah, she was, was back. down the final two also. She was the other one. Right. So I believe she said she's engaged now. Oh. So she was on hand to interview all the guys and then chit chat with Deanna and tell her what she thought of everybody. Oh, by the way, <laughs> we missed the first hour because we're insane. But you know what? 9 o'clock, I'm used to 10 o'clock for yeah, The Bachelor. I feel like I didn't miss anything. Yeah, you know, it was probably just one giant cocktail party slash some writing in a notebook. One giant F-nut. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, she was helping out Deanna. So let's start with some of the, the F -nuts. mentionables. Yeah, Jason, the standouts. He was easy to talk to, and he was a traveler. Right. Well, we missed the first first impression, Rose, because mm -hmm. apparently there's three this this season. So that went to Jeremy, the real estate attorney. Yeah. Semi-liar. You know, if it's like a regular lawyer, that's a full liar. But if it's just real estate, eh, semi-liar. Not a bad choice. Oh, you're going to get some angry emails on that one. Please. <laughs> so, Eric. Greek. He's a Greek in search of a Greek. Wow, that's like a... Uh, it's an totally, ad for the personals. Um, Greek in search of Greek. My big fat Greek wedding. Yeah, he wants a big fat Greek wedding. And his she family wants a big is fat like, Greek oh my God, wedding. Oh my God. He's from Greece too. He's not just like some American Greek. Yeah, but I think he's in. He's living in Boston right now. But I'm right. Not sure. Yeah, he is, and he speaks Greek, oh. and so does Diana. Does she? Yes, she does. Sure. She says more than oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Jesse, the rude snowboarder. He <laughs> reminded me of the guy from Robin Big, the skateboarder. Yes, yeah. Well, he uh, <laughs> he totally almost pooed in his pants <laughs> <laughs> because this guy, um, what's Sean. his name, Sean, a martial arts expert, yes. and teacher, or whatever, put this lemon on a cup on. <laughs> Jesse's Why on the cup? Neck or head, head. I don't know. It was on his head. And he totally kicked the lemon off. Yeah. It, what? And he totally That's almost like biting a in can. His pants. <laughs> <laughs> and then saying, it is. Oh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, was there anything better than this in the first hour? Let us know. I know. All right. But anyway, um, this Jesse guy was wearing this scary jacket, and he was like, I want to just stand out. I and think it was formerly a shower curtain. I don't know. And well. he totally interrupted somebody else's time and, yeah. like, climbed over the couch. This guy's a mess. But yeah. anyway. Yeah, but he's funny as hell. He and got the second first impression rose. That's crazy. It went to Ugly Jacket Jesse. That's what you get for being crazy. I guess so. But then, oh, there was this dude with a duck call. At first I thought, wow, this guy is creepy. Chandler. And then yeah. he got all serious once he called her over. He was really sweet when yeah, he got he all sincere, serious. Yeah, but he was kind of freaking me out. But he had kind of a baby head. He's like, I'm just a hometown <laughs> dude and I know you're a hometown girl. But the dude with the abs of steel totally interrupted him, Brian. It was weird. He was he like, was touch rude. my abs. Touch them now. It was disgusting. Yeah. Oh, I would have been like, go, you're out. Don't even, don't even come to the rose ceremony because you're not getting one. <laughs> Just leave now. <laughs> so then there was this Canadian dude and... Um, we cannot limit this to just Americans, apparently. No. We must invite Canada. International. Our neighbors to the north. So his name is Paul and he was talking and they were outside and all of a sudden he was like, I'm going to jump in the pool. Like that wasn't planned ahead of time. I know. Because when he got out... <laughs> he's wearing told... underwears that said Diana on the back. Yeah, when were you hoping she would see those if you got kicked Shh, off? On you the know? first night. Thank you. So, ugh, a bar investor. I was totally like, like, whoa, sounds like Brad. Brad. Really? Yeah, <laughs> Graham was his name. She seemed very interested in Brad Graham. <laughs> 
Okay. And then he was like, oh, but I'm starting, like, this charity. So she was like, oh. I started it, like, five minutes before <coughs> I got picked for the show. Isn't that cool? Oh, man. You All right. cry. <laughs> so anyway. The third impression, Rose, goes to Richard. A shy science teacher. He was adorable. He's so sweet. I love well, him. Well, he seems sweet anyway. I, I think he's, like, one of my favorites you right now. You little science nerd, you. I love it. So, Chris Harrison. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the other guys. Because mm -hmm. it's time to break some hearts, Deanna. Turn those tables. That's right. Luke, we didn't. See, he must have been in the first hour. I think so. He was an oyster farmer. Oh, this guy seems so sweet. He brought her a pearl necklace. Can you believe that? Like a lone pearl, which is totally hot. I love a guy who brings his work home with him. I know. Especially when he's a pearl farmer. But besides <laughs> that, he seemed like so sweet. Yeah, he did. And then uh, Ron, ooh, you've been married before. Oh. Used goods. <sighs> Damaged. She's like, everyone deserves a second chance. <laughs> yeah, but not according to you, Deanna, because you were like, I'm only getting married once. Yeah, what was that? These guys don't have to try hard to impress her. She's got low standards. Low. <laughs> like here. Yeah. <laughs> so, she's got to eliminate ten guys tonight. That's rough. But then again, it's not. Because, like, out of 25... I'm sure you can get rid of quite a few losers right away. I'm I'm surprised she can only like she should only have to keep ten, <laughs> cause they I would say two thirds of them went. Eh. But it's not gonna work, and you can right. tell. You can tell immediately who's there and who's there for themselves. Yeah. It's time to give out the roses, yeah. but we must remind you of the first impression rose holders. Jeremy, Richard, and Ugly Jacket Jesse. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so the first rose goes to Ron. Barbershop owner. He's the married dude, the previously married dude. <laughs> I hope he's not still married. Well, you never know on this show. <laughs> it could just be a big fat lie. And then Graham, or Brad, the yeah, bar investor. <laughs> right. Then Eric, Greek. Mm -hmm. you, you gotta pick him. I know. And oh. then Robert, chef. Chef. You'll nice. never go hungry. No. And then Sean. <laughs> Lemon kicker. That's right. Then Ryan, the pro football player. We didn't hear too much about him. No. He must have been in the beginning. Then Chris, the medical salesman. We didn't really hear too much about him either. I don't think so. Paul. Mr. Canada. Yeah, Deanna <laughs> on your booty. Yep. Then Fred, lawyer. Equals liar. Send those emails. What would you do if I became a lawyer? <laughs> I'd call you a big, fat liar. <laughs> okay, and then I'd help you cash your checks. Exactly. <laughs> Twilly, the debt manager. This guy looks crazy. Crazy as hell, and I wouldn't have picked him just for the creepy name. Twilly. <laughs> All right, so Jason, the sweet backpacker with the charity He's on hold. He's also an account exec. Right. Hmm. Seems like a conflict of interest. I don't know. So then, Chris comes out. Chris Harrison. Just so you ladies know. Well, lady and gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry, still in bachelor mode. <laughs> this Down is the to one rose. rose. When you're ready. <laughs> so, yeah. Final rose went to... Brian. Not you. Texas. Not Illinois. They showed Indiana. Or whatever, yeah. <laughs> and he was like... Oh. No. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the nicer high school football coach. Partially Salt and you Pepper, know, baby. You know, you know. Silver Fox. Yeah, only like 31. Right. And But the Silver Fox can be nice sometimes. I do like the premature gray, I have to admit. <laughs> I don't know about all the time, but in some cases. <laughs> well, in my case. All right, so uh, how could you have passed up Chandler and Luke? Oh, Luke. I Come on! Her to pick Luke so bad. And Chandler was totally crying. Oh. That was so sad. These guys were gems. Luke. He but was a pearl. I'm so glad you passed up that psycho, Greg. That guy was a freak. He what was, was like wrong with his, his chest? Clothes off and, uh, and then what he had was, tattoos. It looks everywhere. like he injected all his steroids into his chest. Yeah, and then he Scary. did like this wolf call, and I was so like, "Whoa, you were not Wolf from no, American Gladiator." No, nobody is as cool as Wolf from American Gladiator. So, this season 
<laughs> oh God, what we have in store? There's and gonna be some let's Ellen. Let's read it. <laughs> Race cars, diving, classic cars, a bunkhouse with an open naked shower. That was weird. And um, three guys at a time are gonna be moving into Deanna's weird. mansion. Weird. Weird. Yeah. There will be tears. This was crazy because they showed her like yelling at them like, I'm ah! serious right now. <laughs> I'm totally not menstruating. All right, but there will be no monkey. Oh. I know. So kids, it's going to be an exciting season. Till then. Opa. And much love.